hi guys day 20 september 21 so we just got 10 more days to go and then you will be writing your prelims and uh, today's topic will be uh, schemes and policies so it's not what is there in news it is the established ones in india which is there since last two three years it is in news that kind of schemes and policies because current affair we have already done for 12 months and there we have shown you enough and more new schemes okay but obviously you will not get all the ones because we are showing only only 10 10 mcqs my students can uh, read it from the pdf okay obviously you have done it once please revise it and there is no separate pack for schemes so students cannot purchase that also you have to get the pack one only there schemes test is there three schemes are uh, there so uh, 300 uh, mcqs are dedicated to schemes alone okay older schemes so comment your score and uh, based on that every day if you improve your score you usl will feel happy so start commenting your score which of the following is true about indian gold coin scheme it will have national emblem of ashoka chakra on uh, one side and face of Mahatma Gandhi on the other. It will have advanced tamper proofing packaging and anti counterfeit features. It will be hallmarked as per BIS standards. So, all three are true. So, it's a uh, uh, factual kind of thing when you study schemes many many things you will have to study when it started what is its standards who is approving it what is the ministry uh, then uh, who are the beneficiaries okay these are things which you will study so here all the details are given okay which maybe some are not useful also it's just gk but uh, these three statements which are put in the question that is more important okay and the basic explanation okay which of the following is not a criteria for a tourist circuit under swadesh darshan scheme at least three tourist destinations should be there on route, none of them being in same village or town. The tourist destination en route should not be separated by long distance. The tourist destination should have significance related to a religion born in India. The destination should have well-defined entry and exit points. So, which of the following is not a criteria. So it's all taken from their website only the third one is just a made-up statement okay any sort of religious culture ethnic whatever they want they can do there is no criteria mentioned in it okay so uh, the details are given here it's a central sector scheme it's again being advanced uh, like start when it started it had uh, uh, limited circuits then it uh, improved increased okay so more and more circuits will come in the future also okay government pdf is also given and it's completing five years now so maybe a question can come okay and it keeps coming in the news that is why it's important okay now, which of the following are matched correctly? Uh, Hunar Hath, Ministry of in, uh, Minority Affairs and Hunar says uh, Rosgar Tak, Min uh, Ministry of Tourism. So, UPC has this habit of taking similar words and putting it in the options to confuse you because some people will not study things carefully. They will just uh, study keywords like Hunar means this one, other Hunar means that one. So, when you see two things which look similar, then in the exam hall you will get confused and you will wait, uh, waste a lot of time. Okay, provided you are like if you have studied nicely, then there will be no problems. Okay. So, here if you see uh, both one and two are matched correctly. Okay, Hunar Hath is a trade fair under this Ustad scheme, which again you should know what it is. Okay, it's a very important scheme which keeps coming in news again. So, that is there and owner say Rosgartak is a training program in the field of uh, tourism. Okay, so that is also correct and details are given here. It keeps coming in the news. News link is also given so you can read more details. But uh, your recalling power is what will work in the exam hall. Okay, because studying schemes is like a very hectic task. There are many, many schemes which are very similar also. When you study especially... Uh, ministry of women okay there are many many schemes which is for mother and child which name also looks similar but what happens is in the exam hall you will not remember which one was what so please see to that your recalling power also improves when you study schemes which of the following are false about rural self-employment training institute or city the initiative of niti Aayog in collaboration with fiki and cii it will be handled by nabard as a nodal agency for managing its fund so the initiative and the nodal agency
So again, uh, both are false. Okay, here the question was asking for false, so maybe some students did not read it. So it's an initiative of uh, rural development through uh, uh, banks in all rural district, and uh, the official website from there only have taken. So you can read whatever is here on screen. Don't do more details on this, okay? Because what happens is students tend to research more and more, and they study overdo things, okay? But when it comes to schemes, just study the very minimal things, which is to the point, okay? So whatever is important, I have also highlighted for you. Which of the following are true regarding nutrient-based subsidy scheme? Under it, fixed amount of subsidy is decided by the government on annual basis. Under this, subsidy is provided on each grade of subsidized P and K fertilizers, including urea. It was launched in 2018. It is being implemented by Ministry of Agriculture. So here obviously all cannot be true because options are set like that. So you have to eliminate and find out. So it's one only. This is a, not a new scheme. It was launched in 2010. So you can eliminate three. Okay, then again you will be left with three options and it's implemented by Ministry of Fertilizers. So four will go away and like that you will come to the answer. And uh, uh, what is the other one? Under this subsidy is provided on each date of this thing including urea. So here details are given what is there and which is there. Okay, it's like ex except for urea and it's largely meant for secondary nutrients NPSK. Okay, you should know like nitrogen, phosphorus, silk, uh, whatever is used. Okay, potassium, K is potassium. So uh, uh, recent news also there. It keeps coming in the news, these kind of schemes, okay, whenever it comes to agriculture and farmer, you should know, like even now, uh, 25th September, a Bharat Band is going to happen, maybe, you know, the central minister has also resigned uh, farmers issues in Punjab. So, these kind of farmer soil, whenever it comes, see to that you give extra attention, okay. Now, uh, some missions are there, try to read it yourself, so that lengthy statements you will be able to read, which are the following are true. Okay, so mission, mission uh, fingerling is a mission under Blue Revolution under Ministry of Agriculture. Kisan credit card under Ministry of Agriculture helps uh, short term expense. Then these two are Ministry of Agriculture. So here, Ministry and Objective, both the things is given in same statement. So UPSC does this, either they'll give it in Masti following or they'll do something. So you should be ready, okay, to solve these kind of things. There is one three only, Kisan credit card, uh, it's uh, coming under Ministry of Finance. That is only uh, wrong thing. Remaining everything is correct. And details about rural evolution again I've given, okay, because it is in news and uh, our this government is trying to uh, promote all the things, okay, all the allied sectors of agriculture, not only the normal agriculture but all the other sectors. That is why you please study it for mains also. Now again, detailed one, which are the following are true with respect to Higher Education Commission of India Act 2018. It repeals the UGC Act 1956. It shall have a chairperson, vice chair, and 12 other members to be appointed by the center. The term of chair, vice chair and member shall be 5 years or up till the age of 70. Uh, the chair, vice chair and members are not eligible for reappointment. There shall be an advisory council chaired by the union uh, HRD minister. The accounts of the commission shall be audited by the CAG at such times and in such manner as he thinks fit. So use elimination whenever five six statements comes you have to solve it okay because these are the questions which definitely the serious aspirants will do and uh, uh, act related questions are expected especially this year education related something will come definitely out of the hundred questions okay it can come in polity angle scheme angle or maybe history uh, history angle okay old uh, history british india education policy but a question will come so one two three five six so here uh, four is wrong this uh, not eligible for reappointment is wrong. They are eligible for uh, reappointment, okay, for more than one term, subject to the age limit of 70 years, okay. So if the 
it's like younger age they were their members and all they can again be reappointed till the age of 70 so that is why that is the only thing wrong remaining all are true which of the following are true about ishan vikas and ishan uday scheme both are schemes for students in the northeast both are coordinated by iit Guwahati. so the beneficiary and the uh, coordinator So here is one only, the coordinator is different, one is by IIT Guwahati and this Uday is by uh, University Grants Commission. So this U and U, like that you can buy art and this is not recent one but uh, because uh, whatever completes four, uh, 4 years, 5 years of funding and all these things that is what we have picked up and formed it. And also this is a scheme specific test that is why the questions are based on older schemes also. So if you think you are not able to see new schemes, please watch the current affair episodes. Here I come, uh, portal aims to which one try to read it yourself Okay, so those who are watching this video series for the first time, uh, we are not reading it out now since yesterday, okay, else we will read each statement. Now, because the exam is nearing, we want you to develop that reading skill, that is why some of the questions I am not reading out. And here, the answer is helping farmers to get reasonable price for their produce. So again, farmers also is one topic like education, uh, about which everything you have to study, okay, APMC, APED, uh, or uh, Commerce Ministry uh, link with the Agriculture Ministry, because uh, selling, trading, all these things comes there. So all there are the like favorite topics of UPSC. Okay, so please see to that you study everything related to that because MSP and GST and all I think they are fed up now. They have already asked two three times. So maybe something new will come. Okay, so advantages and all is given here. Please study this. It will help you for mains uh, fodder points also. Kusum scheme recently launched by the government is related to. So serious aspirants immediately when they see the question without even looking the options they would have got the answer for this okay so that is the speed which you have to reach okay when you tell kusum scheme there is one kiran scheme okay so these are words like srishti scheme these are schemes which with the name you should immediately understand what it is okay then think uh, that full form and all you need not even know you will directly know it because you have done that much rounds of revision so here again uh, it is a news all the time because fund is being allocated in every budget so uh, solar pump for farmers okay and here all the details are given including the uh, advantage and how it is uh, being implemented so with that you will be able to get a all round thing okay so even if a statement upsc takes from here we have already shown you and already taught you okay the full form is also given here kisan urja uh, suraksha evam uthan uh, uh, mahabhyan so that was the 10 questions for today Again, we'll come up with more uh, interesting episodes. Actually, two uh, spectrum episodes are planned. It will, it will not be spectrum and that is where your entire myth will break. Okay, some students uh, proudly tell that I've done spectrum 10 times, 20 times and all. But when we ask modern history questions, which can be half data from spectrum and half based on UPSC's mindset, that time none of you are able to answer. Okay, so that episodes will come uh, after two, three days. Before that, we will do some environment. We will do again some maybe a polity or economy. I'll choose which one to do. Okay, but when you see the mcqs and you are not able to solve that means you will understand okay so you will stop asking this question like is this enough i have done spectrum five times ten times i have done these many mock tests of that particular institution okay unless you do questions of high standard you will never be ready and this exam is such that it will be nothing will be enough okay so please see to it that you keep practicing keep learning every time and when you don't solve it also don't get demotivated when you cannot recall don't get demotivated see to it that every day you are learning something and the exam hall i promise you that upsc exam will be much easier than all the questions which we are teaching you or which any institute is teaching you upsc is always easier okay because their options are designed to make it easy so please practice and take all the tips which i tell you in my previous year episodes which i did previous year mcqs i did a very big series 2019 18 and 17 is halfway there is a lot of tips you would have got that will all help you uh, score extra marks so please watch all the episodes from the starting i'll come up with the tomorrow session